Hey, it's Coach Jamila. And let me ask you this. Ladies, do you have a good job or a successful business, a financially successful life, but you've been through a divorce and find yourself still struggling when it comes to matters of the heart um, as far as trying to find a good relationship with the right man? Are you still struggling in that department? Well, stay tuned because I've got three tips to help you <laughs> succeed in this area. So the first tip is this. Set your standards by healing your self-worth and recognizing your value isn't your financial means or material goods, okay? So I've heard women say, well, you know, I've got a house, I've got a car, I've got a great job. You know, any guy would want to be with me. Okay, well, that's nice. They're going to recognize that you have financial means to take care of yourself, which means you're not looking for some guy to come save you, okay? But what does that have to do with being kind, being a good person, uh, being a good listener, a good friend, someone he can have fun with? See, those are the qualities and characteristics that a good man is going to be looking for in a woman. He's not going to be looking for someone to provide for him financially. So leading with that or feeling like that, those physical superficial things that you may have achieved and accomplished, which are great, but thinking that those are the things that are going to make you more appealing to a good man is kind of, you're missing the point. A good man is looking for a good woman. And what makes you good is not what you have, but who you are. And so you have to heal your self-worth so that you understand who you are, love who you are, and appreciate the value that you bring just by being you, okay? Now, my second tip is you have to get very clear on what you want in a man, in a relationship, and these are not superficial things. Like I just said, you want to look for and be clear on what you want as far as character, qualities and traits, not just physical or material things that don't matter. Is it important that a man be financially responsible and be able to be self-sufficient and support himself? Absolutely. And that he be able to provide for himself? Absolutely. And what if you have children and maybe you decide not to work and you want him to be able to pay the bills? Absolutely. If that's what you want. It's a personal choice. But if you want a man that's financially successful, nothing wrong with that. But your list of wants, what you really want in a good mate, in a good man, cannot simply be a list of superficial things about how he looks, how much money he makes, what kind of car he drives, what kind of house he lives in. Uh, what about how he communicates? What about how he treats his mother? What about how he responds to you when you get upset? What about does he bring out the best in you? Is he kind? Okay? Is he chivalrous? Those are the types of things that you really want to think about and get clear on and write it down. Yes, you do need a list of things that you are looking for in a man, the things that matter, okay? Because money can always come. If that, that's a non-issue, okay? But character, that ain't always present. And that's what you're looking for. Because two people of good character coming together and sharing and enjoying life, that's the business right there. OK, now my third tip is recognize that no matter what your ex-husband did, you know, even if, you know, he's responsible for the marriage ending through infidelity or whatever, even if he did all of that, you have to recognize and acknowledge and be honest with yourself that you were not a perfect wife. OK, and even though maybe your behaviors were not deal breaking, again, you still weren't perfect and there are things that you need to change about how you interact with the opposite sex going forward so that you don't bring any of those negative traits and qualities and, and things that maybe you had to develop in being in that marriage to survive or whatever. You don't want to bring that forward into a new relationship. You want to leave those negative things behind so that you can move forward as the best version of you, a better version of you, okay? You have to clean it up. Nobody comes out of divorce unscathed, okay? Now, if you are serious about turning around your post-divorce dating life, I want to invite you to consider my 90-day program. It's Get Real and Heal, How to Find Love Again, Thrive and Be Happy. And it's designed for women who've been through an unwanted divorce and want 
to get rid of those qualities and traits that aren't working for them, that want to learn how to really love themselves again after sometimes experiencing a, a lot of rejection, you know, if, if their mate left them or if the husband cheated on them or any of that. Um, we have to learn how to love ourselves again, rebuild our self-worth. We have to get that confidence back up, right? So all of those issues are addressed in my program and also how to prepare to be successful in a new relationship, you know? Um, if you're interested in that, I absolutely uh, recommend that you book a free 30-minute discovery and action call. On that call, um, I'll explain to you how the program works. We'll find out what's really going on with you, first of all, and you know, discover what's going on and what action needs to happen and if it makes sense for us to work together, okay? Now, I do want to also invite you to go to my website and subscribe. Actually, I'll put the link uh, in the description here below. I'll put the, just the links for everything that I'm talking about right now. But I created an audio. It's entitled, The Top Three Mistakes Women Make After an Unwanted Divorce and How to Avoid Them. And simply by subscribing, you'll get access to that as well as two free bonuses. I also have a private Facebook group for women that have been through an unwanted divorce that want to heal and prepare for new love and learn how to thrive and be happy. If that interests you, I'll put the link in that. Uh, link for that below. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up. Um, if you are on YouTube, if you're on Facebook, please like and follow. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. All right. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you here.